Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Pisces. Pisces, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Pisces for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Pisces, please. All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Your person is showing up as the Nine of Swords in reverse. They're definitely spying on you, Page of Swords. What you're not seeing is this person is hurting. They're grieving this, whatever's happened here. And we have the moon card, Cancer Pisces energy. You may be meeting in the dream space. You may be getting a lot of reminders. This person has very deep, very romantic feelings for you. But I also feel this person has been um, like locked in, a, locked in a cycle of depression or just feeling really down about what's happened here. And we have the world card. So there's definitely been some type of ending. But I also see with the world card, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy, um, there's potential for a new beginning here, Pisces, if you want it. But the Knight of Pentacles in reverse tells me that you might be dealing with somebody who is very kind of free-spirited. Um, or you might be dealing with somebody here who wasn't really pulling their weight within the connection. Um, yeah, it looks like you made a decision to end things here because most likely they stopped putting in time and effort or they were focused on other things. And that may have been a tower moment here. But I do feel like, you know, this person possibly was very unsure of the future with you. Um, but I also see with the star card in reverse, um, this has been a tower moment for your person. Now, the star card in reverse is the shadow attributes of Aquarius energy, which tells me this person has a tendency to be a bit unpredictable or they might detach. They might also kind of swing between the extremes. I feel like they're a bit stubborn. They may have acted aloof or inconsistent, and I definitely see that with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, but whatever's happened here, it's really, they've changed their tune. This is someone who's been going through it. They've been experiencing some tough times since the last time you saw them or you talked. The Knight of Swords, they're getting a lot of clarity about what they want and how they feel about you, and this person is going to come in and communicate, even though they've been holding back and most likely hiding their true feelings, Pisces, they want to heal things, and I think they're going to they're gonna let you know in a very direct way. Now, they're viewing you as the Page of Swords, so they see you as, they're, they're spying on you, um, but I like this energy because they definitely see you as somebody who's, you know, they see you as smart and creative. They see you as independent. They see you as, you know, witty, just really like re very, very smart is what I'm getting. They like talking to you. Wow. And we see the king and the queen of swords. So for me, an indication that most likely this is an X. You both might also have air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in your chart, but I also see this is a really good match, Pisces. Some of you may even have children with this person, um, and we see the Eight of Swords in reverse. They might be a little bit worried, though, that you've just released yourself from this connection, that you're moving on, that maybe you're, you know, you're dealing with other people. Like, I do feel this person's a little bit suspicious, but most likely it's their, you know, self-esteem that's sort of hindering or getting in the way here. So we see the five of cups in the hidden position. This person's really, really grieving. I think they're also really worried that you're dealing with somebody else or other people. Wish fulfillment and the king of cups. This person kind of wants you to do the work, but I feel like they're also realizing that if they don't step up here, Pisces, and tell you how they feel and tell you what they want, that they are going to miss this opportunity with you. I do also feel this person might be using unhealthy coping mechanisms. So they might be drinking a lot, partying, drugging, you know, spending, like whatever it is. You know, they're, they're, I feel like they're not in the healthiest of energies because they've been in this state of, you know, depression or anxiety here. The moon card, Cancer Pisces energy, tells me there are very deep romantic feelings. They know they need to make it up to you and they definitely want a new beginning. But some of my Pisces, you might have somebody else around you. Like you like you very well might be moving on. Um, of course, you know what your situation's, you know, you know what your situation is. The Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, tells me that there is a my way or the highway type energy, or maybe this person was non-committal with you in the past. 
So I do feel Pisces, there's a lot to think about. I'm kind of picking up that like, it's going to be different for all of you. Some of you, you're going to, you know, this is something that you want or you want to give this person another chance. For others of you, you're done. You're straight up done and you're ready to move towards somebody else. So I think you know which camp you fall in. All right, let's see. Clear messages and guidance for my Pisces, please. All right, so we have, yeah, use your mind wisely. Yeah, make sure this person isn't making promises that you know they can't keep. You know, I do think people can change. You know if you want to give this person another chance. They might know exactly what they want to say to you and what you need to hear. But you need to be very discerning and see, you know, can this person, can this person, you know, back that up? And with the, you know, and I also feel with this pig's flying energy here too, it is going to surprise you though what this person does or says. Um, be here now. So stay present. Don't get too sucked into nostalgia. Don't be too worried about like, or anxious about the future. Like be very present when this person talks to you or when you're, you know, can they fulfill your needs? You know, can they meet you halfway? You know, do they compromise? Can this, you know, are you on the same page? Um, so try to stay very present and let spirit be your guide. So drop into prayer or meditation um, connect with your higher self to make a decision here. It feels like it's a really important decision, Pisces. Um, and I don't think it's going to be a super easy decision for all of you either. All right. So let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Pisces, please. Anything else my Pisces need to know here, please? Okay. So we see creativity. All right, so focus on your creativity. Number three is also about growth and, and expansion. So if you do want it, you know, you two can build and work together. If if you feel like, you know what, yeah, this person adds value to my life. This person gets me. We're on the same page. We want the same things. Okay, we see an energy of pride. So pride and ego may have been something that really got in the way. And I do feel like this person kind of wants you to do the heavy lifting here, Pisces. So again, that might be something you need to address with them or something you need to walk away from. Um, and music. So some of you, you know, you are receiving messages from your angels and your guides through music. Maybe you and this person even. I love this play of like orange and purple. Those colors in specific might really speak to you or might resonate with this connection. Pay attention to these colors showing up in your life. Some of you, you may need to integrate these colors into like the clothes you wear um, or you've just like painted a wall, one of these bright colors or something like that. It's really, really coming through. Um, and you know, the orange energy really is sacral chakra creativity. Um, also, you know, sexual energy here and purple energy connecting with spirit. Um, so I like those messages for you, Pisces. All right, let's see what, um, what else you need to know here. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Pisces. Okay, so divine timing is at work in your love life. Yeah, so w worth waiting for. So that's for you to decide, is this person, you know, is it worth holding space for this person or this connection? Spirit saying, extend your lighthearted energy to others, which to me indicates some of my Pisces, you are moving on, you're ready to move on. But for others of you, it's about just like, you know, it's about just putting your focus elsewhere until this person, you know, reaches out, until they, you know, until they step up. Because I do feel with this emperor energy, they do need to step up. And yeah, spirit saying, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. All right. And also love yourself first here, Pisces. And you may have somebody new coming towards you. Okay. So for a lot of you that, you know, that that is a message coming through, like extend your lighthearted energy to other people. Free yourself if this was a toxic or karmic situation for you or one that, you know, really pulled you off balance. There may be somebody new headed your way. We see that with the Ace of Wands. Okay. All right, Pisces, let me know how this resonates with you down below. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.